Hi you guys, if you want to learn how to make my easy and delicious Philly cheese steak sliders, stay tuned. Alright, so the first thing we are going to do is saute our bell pepper and onion. So I have one large bell pepper and I have one onion here. I have about a tablespoon or two of vegetable oil in my cast iron skillet. And we're going to go ahead and saute these until our veggies are nice and soft and caramelized. So at this stage, we're going to go ahead and season up our veggies with a little bit of salt, some pepper, and some minced garlic. Give it another good stir, and they're pretty much done at this point. Now we're going to work on our steak. So I found this ribeye steak that's finely sliced in Publix, you guys. And this is a huge time saver. You can definitely go through the process of, you know, slicing your own ribeye. I've done that before. Um, it takes a good, um, little bit of time, but if you don't have the time or the patience to do that whole process, you can definitely um, use this shortcut and buy the steak that's already sliced, okay? Now we're going to take our veggies out and put the steak in. We're going to go ahead and season this up with some salt some pepper, some onion powder, and some garlic powder. Once the steak is cooked through, we're going to add a couple more seasonings. All right, so now that our steak is done, we're going to add in some Worcestershire sauce, which is absolutely delicious, especially on steak. And we're going to go ahead and give this a good stir. At this point, you want to taste your steak to make sure that it's yummy and it's seasoned to your liking. So I gave it another good stir, gave it a taste, and I added in a little bit more garlic flavor. So I added about a uh, half a tablespoon or so, maybe a little bit less of minced garlic, gave it another good stir, and our steak is done. You want to go ahead and take that off of the stove. So now we're going to work on our herb garlic butter i have a half a stick of butter here i'm going to season it up with that garlic um some salt some pepper and an herb blend so give that a good mix for about 30 to 40 seconds or so and then it'll be good to go all right now we are ready to assemble so we're going to be using the king's hawaiian rolls of course i'm going to go ahead and cut that in half just like so remove the top i have an aluminum uh, baking dish that i've lined with parchment paper um easy cleanup at the end of dinner you guys so i'm going to go ahead and put that in just like so i'm using two types of cheeses havarti and provolone cheese i'm going to start off with the havarti at the bottom And we're going to put the steak on top of the cheese, just like so. Then we're going to put the veggies on top of the steak. Next, we're going to put on the provolone cheese, eight slices. All right, so we're gonna put the top back on and that garlic herb butter that we made earlier, we're gonna go ahead and put that all over the top. Whenever I make sliders, no matter what it is, I like to put a little bit of poppy seeds on the top. So that is what I did here. I have my oven preheated at 350 degrees. You want to put these in for approximately 15 to 20 minutes. You definitely want to watch them. Make sure that your tops aren't burning, okay? So this is another reason why I like to use parchment paper because you can just slide it out of your baking dish and um, put it on the counter and it's easy for you to go ahead and cut the sliders in individual portions like you see me doing here.
So that is it, you guys. My super easy and delicious Philly cheesesteak sliders, y'all. These are so yummy. And they're so easy for a quick weeknight meal. You can pair these with salad, chips, or french fries to make it a complete meal. I also love to make these when I'm entertaining guests. And when I do that, I like to pair these with some wings, um, a veggie tray, and even some twice-baked potatoes, you guys. So these are so convenient. They're so delicious, you guys, and they're super easy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below if you did enjoy it make sure you give me a thumbs up and even share it with a friend i love you guys so so much thank you so much for watching again and i will see y'all on the next one until then bye